Hey guys, what's up? It's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what I eat in a day to gain weight. This video is going to be more of a vlog style. I'm just going to take you guys along throughout the day, showing you guys what I eat. Now, every day is different, so what I eat today isn't what I'm eating every single day. But before I get started and I show you guys what I eat, I wanted to share with you guys some super, super important tips and some of the things that I eat that weren't in the video that will help you guys gain weight. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't have these strings tied. Let me let me tie that real quick before it gets annoying. So if you want to skip straight into the vlog part of this, I'm going to have um, a little timestamp in the description box. But if you want to hear some of the foods that I've eaten or that I've been eating to gain weight, then just keep on watching. So I wanted to share with you guys the star of the show. This is honestly the most important thing. You don't need it, but it helps if it's hard for you to eat a lot throughout the day. So this right here is Insure Plus. This is so helpful. When I've gone to the doctor before, because I was like underweight and stuff, they used to prescribe me some Insure. So this isn't the vanilla flavor. My favorite though is definitely the chocolate. So this is Insure Plus. This has 350 calories. It has 26 vitamins and minerals, and it has 13 grams of protein. That is literally insane for this little, little 8 ounce bottle. It's so easy for you to drink and you get all these calories plus these protein and vitamins and minerals. And it really does have a lot, a lot of vitamins. It also has potassium. It has vitamin A, iron, vitamin K, um, vitamin B12, zinc. It has calcium, vitamin E, magnesium, copper, and a bunch of other things that I can't pronounce. Honestly, recommend this. So I bought this for $2 in my grocery store, but if you go to some place like Target, you can get the 16 bottle one for, I think, $20, which I think is, is a good deal. If you're underweight, maybe try going to the doctor and seeing if they can prescribe this to you. I like drinking two bottles of Insure a day, and that gives me 350 plus 350, that gives me, oh my gosh, I can't math. That gives me 700 calories in this little thing. And I honestly drink this in like two minutes. Like it's just so easy to gulp down. So this is definitely my number one recommend, like 100% for you guys to gain weight. It really, really does help. My next thing is some peanut butter. So this one is all natural, it's creamy. It has low sodium, this also has 7 grams of protein, and in each tablespoon there's about 90 calories. So in one of the snacks that I ate today, I ate this with banana cut up and I drank my Insure. This has a lot of calories, especially if you eat this with whole wheat bread. Whole wheat bread is another one of my favorites. Um, you can put this on whole wheat bread with bananas on the side or on the sandwich and right there that's like 200 calories guys it's literally insane mm, smells good peanut butter isn't my favorite but for the sake of gaining weight i definitely eat this so let me just explain to you guys my whole um eating setup so basically what i like to do is i like to eat breakfast then i like to eat a snack then i like to eat lunch then I like to eat a snack and then I like to eat dinner. If I miss my snacks in the morning, I'll just snack at nighttime and it's the same exact thing. So I could do breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacking, or I can do breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and another snack. So what I've been eating that has helped me gain weight is just eating lots of Spanish food. I eat a lot of Spanish food and that definitely helps me gain weight. So one of my favorites is mango with fried cheese and fried eggs or sometimes i eat it without the eggs but basically mango is just mashed plantains with butter and then you saute some onions and you put it on top of the mango and then you eat fried cheese i'm going to show you guys some pictures of course so you guys can get a visual that is my favorite favorite thing to eat and you can eat at breakfast lunch or dinner sometimes i eat it for breakfast when i want a heavy breakfast sometimes i eat it for dinner and it is so 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 fulfilling i'm telling you guys platanos plantains all of that 
is so filling and it definitely helps you gain weight. Some more of the things that I like eating is lots of pasta. I love, love, love pasta. So I love spaghetti, lasagna, macaroni and cheese. Another thing that is another Spanish food is malanga or yautia. So basically what that is, is just... I don't know how to explain it. It tastes a little bit like mashed potatoes. Technically, it's like mashed potatoes, but it's like a vegetable root. What I do is like you get it, you peel it, you boil it just like mashed potatoes, and you mash it, and you put butter in it, and salt. And it tastes so, so, so freaking good. So I like eating that with fried cheese or just like cutting up boiled eggs and putting it inside. That tastes so good with yautia. It tastes amazing a few more of the things that i have been eating to gain weight is something called mycena so basically what it is it's like cornstarch i know it sounds so weird like you're eating cornstarch you put some of the mycena powder then you put some milk and sugar and i think that's a really 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 good snack it's really really fulfilling and that's definitely one of my favorites for gaining weight. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the healthiest eater. I'm honestly trying my best to become more healthy. I definitely recommend for you guys to drink a lot of water. I am myself am trying to drink at least two bottles of water a day. But it's really, really hard because I'm just so used to drinking juice and soda and like all these things that are bad for you. I'm trying to change my ways and I'm trying to get a little bit more healthy. So let me just stop talking and let me take you guys on the what I eat in a day journey. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I've, I've forgotten to mention so many things. So every time you eat, remember to put it into my fitness pal that is honestly going to help you. It's going to tell you how many calories you're missing and how many calories um, you've eaten. So it's super, super helpful. And if you don't know how many calories something has, you could just search it up and it tells you how many calories. So that's what I do. boil for about 10 minutes and then I'll check back with you okay so now that that's done I'm just gonna put some cold water on it and put it aside so I'm just going to grill it a little bit with the with some butter a tablespoon of butter has about 102 calories which is what we need we need calories so I am just Toasting that a little bit on my pan. I have no toaster. No toaster. See, it's getting a little golden and toasted. So I'm putting the heat up just so I could like toast a little more. So now I'm just going to peel the eggs. Just gonna take some organic orange juice and just pour that in here. So what I like doing is just Slicing my toast down the middle. And if you guys want to add more calories to this, I would suggest just adding some peanut butter. It adds a lot of calories. Put it on my plate. So this right here is my breakfast. Believe it or not, this actually is about 508 calories. So two slices of a whole wheat bread, it's about 70 calories per slice. Then we have the two boiled eggs, which is about 156 calories. And then we have orange juice, which is about a
it's about 155 calories and then my juice has about 810 calories so in total for lunch we are having about 502 calories which is great this is super nutritious and it tastes delicious so as you guys can see the app is super helpful because it tells you your goal for the day and then it tells you how many calories you've consumed and then how many are still remaining for lunch we want to add what we just ate. I made mashed potatoes, so I'm going to add that. I'm going to add the corn on the cob. I'm just going to put the one that has 155 calories. I need to learn how to drink water. I'm actually not good at drinking water, which is really bad. So that's something I definitely have to work on. By the way, my screen isn't cracked. This is a protective cover that I have on it. I have to change it. So for breakfast, I had 508 calories. Lunch, 515. So my first snack for today, I'm going to be eating a tablespoon of peanut butter. So this peanut butter is natural, it's creamy, it has 7 grams of protein per serving. So in about a tablespoon of this, there's about 90 calories. So I'm going to be taking this and then I'm going to be eating it with a banana. In a banana, there's about 105 calories. So this is an Ensure Plus and this is in vanilla there's 350 calories so i'm going to take my peanut butter and i'm using a fork which is dumb i should have gotten a tablespoon but i'm just going to take a tablespoon of this peanut butter this is about a tablespoon so i'm going to take a tablespoon of the peanut butter just put that on my plate put it more towards the middle there i have my peanut butter and now I'm just going to take my banana and I'm going to cut it. I really don't know how these YouTubers vlog themselves when they're making food. It is the hardest thing ever. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Ah! I don't know if you guys can even see that, but I'm going to cut the banana just into small pieces. That is it. Not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it does the job. We are having sliced bananas with some peanut butter and an Ensure Plus. So in total, this is about 542 calories for our first snack. So I actually really, really like this. Instead of peanut butter, I wish it was Nutella because I love Nutella, but Nutella is not that healthy. Mm. If you're a picky eater, because I don't really like veggies and stuff, this is a really good snack. It's healthy and it tastes really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes delicious. Alright, guys, so we're gonna go back into my fitness pal and then we're gonna go to snacks. And we're going to add the oops, my bad. The peanut butter. Peanut butter, this has two tablespoons. We're gonna put one tablespoon. The banana, 105 calories. Then we're gonna add the Ensure Plus. Or, well, I'm adding that. Whatever you guys have eaten, you're gonna add it. And right there, for a snack, we had 550 calories. So all I am missing is 826 calories, which I'm probably getting with the dinner that my sister made. So I probably don't have to eat another snack, but I always get hungry late at night, so I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to be adding that. So now it's dinner time. My sister made some white rice with pork chops. So I'm going to eat that. And I think that's how I'm going to end my night. I'm probably going to snack again and drink another Ensure after dinner. Probably like later on when I get hungry. Okay guys, so this is my dinner. So this is the typical Puerto Rican dinner. So my sister made some pork chops. I don't really like eating this too much. But I'm just going to eat it for today. Because she made it and I don't really want to like be rude and stuff, you know. And then she made some white rice with corn. And these are called tostones, which are just fried um, plantains, I think. Yeah, it's fried plantains. So I'm going to be eating that today. I don't really like too much meat and too much fried stuff. Like it, it makes me nauseous. But, you know, everything in moderation, I think. As long as you're not eating lots of fried food every day um i think you're gonna be good like everything in moderation thank you guys so much for 
following me on my what I eat in a day journey. I hope that this gives you guys some ideas and that it helped you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one.